up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. This guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting step one and step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the U.S. Well, this is exciting here, D.C., the founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's gonna look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 156 pounds. Goliath! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce. The Dragon Lee! All right, bring through the rules of the locker room. I want you to bring my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out fighting. Start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand. Really. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this man. Powerful leg kick lands. Big punch lands. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. That shot is blocked by Lee. You can't break your will. And he landed the right hand there. Jab. That's one that's really knocking the head back. Big head 
kick. Effective punch there by Lee. Oh. Oh, straight right. What a body kick. Big ball to punch lands. Now he gets back to range. You take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Moving to his left now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Oh, nice right hand. Nice body right under the elbow. All right, let's go. Look to set up that low kick now. Lee's punch to the body, rejected there by the defense. Nice job by the opponent. Oh, nice connection there with a the punch, DC. Great time to land that punch. Oh, tags him with the straight. Nice job there by Lee. Nice head kick. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Boy, tie plump. And both guys really throwing with authority. Right there, yeah. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. He is all about that left kick to the body. Big body kick lands. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fighter a little bit. Lesson one in boxing class, hands up, chin down. Oh, really exploiting his reach advantage as he landed the jab there, DC. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. 20 seconds to go in round one. 15 seconds. Final seconds of round one. Oh, that's a nice strike. All right, there's the end of the round, so it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of it. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands, his opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the start of the next round. Block there. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one or done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jabs. Give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook. That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. 
finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. Not there. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Follow this one up. Just over three minutes to go. <laughs> Trying to establish that jab once again. Just misses there with the left. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Man. Oh, perfect head kick there. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing, it does not feel good. Oh, nice. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Beautiful body kick. Nice head kick. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing this kick with so much force. Checks that leg kick. Twenty seconds to go, round two. Ten seconds remain in round two. Good punch. Oh, nice counter jab to snap the head back. So there's the end of the round, and the tide has officially turned a huge head strike to stun his opponent. We'll see which corner can adjust here moving forward. I mean, they've got to be celebrating. They've got to be happy. Everything's working. But the other side has to be concerned. They have to figure something out, make some sort of adjustment to try to change the tide of this fight. Oh, can 
continuing to work the body to great effect. Oh, big head kick. That kick blocked by Lee. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Just missed with the left there. Big kick land. Back and forth we go. Oh, nice land with the knee. You see the taller fighter having no issue getting the limb to the target there. What a punch. Oh, caught him with a head kick. That at least partially landed. Oh, my goodness. He got kicked in the head, and he's still standing. Trying to kick the leg out. Big kick lands. Oh! He's a turtle. He's hurt bad. Oh, straight right. Just missed on that spinning attack. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily play. Lee gets the tie clinch here. A knee. Lee gets caught with that punch. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do it. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Wow, what a kick. Oh, and he lands another huge knee there as the taller fighter uses his length well yet again. Big leg kick land. All right, single collar tie now. Big, Big knee lands there. Oh, straight right. Nice slip to avoid that right hand. Man, he just keeps on coming with these shots to the liver, looking to buckle him once again. Got him down to his knee earlier in the fight with a liver shot. He knows he's hurt there, and he'll continue to target that area. Good strategy. Oh, flush knee to the body. He's got the length advantage in this fight and certainly made it count in that exchange. Nice straight punch. Side is getting beat up now. Look at the redness there. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Look at the angle of that nice body. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. Big kick. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing it down first with those nice outside leg kicks. He blocks the punch. Oh, single collar tie here. Beautiful punch. Oh, that's a good right hand. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. 20 seconds to go. It's such a fast leg kick. Whoa! Now goes in and secures the takedown. What a fight so far!
Oh, the round is over and blood is just fauceting out of his cheek. That cheek has gotten out of control. Cut man can only do so much. And given the fact that that cut continues to be attacked by the opponent, if this thing gets any worse, they're going to stop this fight. All right, so let us now check out some of the action in that round, DC. There was a whole lot of it, including a stunner upstairs that nearly closed the show. It was a lot of action. It was back and forth action. But the big moment was that big strike to the head that landed that put him on wobbly legs and in survival mode. Luckily, he made it to the end of that round. All right, next round is underway. And if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high. And you just have to laud the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Just a slip there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. So next with a right. Good punch, Lance. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, big head kick there. right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Trying to do damage now with the kick. That's a miss. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Another punch there. Not a mean guy. He's just doing the smart thing. Oh, he that. has to be attacking that cut, John. I mean, if he's not, then he's doing his opponent a favor. Attack that cut. Make him pay for it. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Right on the button. Lead left by Lee. Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. Nice move to punch. Big head kick land. Oh, rips the body shot there. All right, he engages in the single power tie. And they separate. Went for the inside leg kick. Just over two minutes now to go. Ooh, what a punch. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Right hand upstairs. Look at him working 
at trying to shut the liver down. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Twenty seconds left. Got the single collar tie. Ten seconds to go in round four. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Buzzer sounds for the end of round four, 20 minutes in the books. All right, the round is over, gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's gonna have no choice but to stop this fight. All right, a lot of high level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it if you would. Tit for tat, who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. Here we go, fifth and final round. Way to hide that leg kick. Misses with that punch. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Pretty good execution for him there on the sidekick, DC. Just really feeling himself. One of those traditional martial arts techniques that are making their way to the U.S. top. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. That one snuck in. Nice strike. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Watch these to the body. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Wild attempt with the right hand there. Oh, that straight punch is going to be a real problem if they can't make the adjustment. A real problem. He needs to move his head defensively. If oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh! Whoa! Oh, straight right. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Under three minutes to decide this one. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Ooh, big shot lands. certainly making good use of what is an obvious edge in reach. Nice job of hiding that head kick. Beautiful kick. Head kick. Back and forth we go! Nice punch lands over the top. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Under two minutes now to decide this one. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Back to the feet. He went high on that one. And he's looking for that left hand just missed. That punch no good. Man, 
He is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Oh, and he connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. Nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Oh, nice jab. Goes to the body there. Keep them inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Punch over the top. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his opponent gas out a little bit with all the ball. His opponent sees the target, but he can't get to the target. So he'll continue to throw, and he'll continue to wear on his own gas tank. What a fight! All right, so a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight and largely got it done with the strike. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. The official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 48-47. Clearing the winner by unanimous decision, Goliath! Right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that start to finish, and he wins a unanimous decision.